Hello, uh, you have caught me in the middle of making a trailer to pull behind my little lawnmower. I wasn't going to make a video about this, but I got, well, about this far and I thought, what the hell? So I bought this house about a year and a half ago and I have yet to buy even a wheelbarrow. So here's my situation. I need to get stuff through my yard and I need to get, particularly, I need to get an engine from my garage to my shed. I know I'm a little scattered here, but I had two lawnmowers and I'm making one good lawnmower out of both. And, and before I scrapped the other lawnmower, which I did this morning, I pulled the engine out of it because this engine's better than the, than the engine that's in my other mower that I, that I kept. <laughs> so at some point I'll make a video maybe on here. Yeah, at some point I'll make a video of me swapping this motor over. But for now, I'm just, I, I just gotta get it out of the shop. I'm gonna stick it in the shed and I'm looking at it and I'm like, I'm not gonna carry it all the way out there. I still don't have a wheelbarrow. I've been meaning to make a little trailer to pull behind my lawnmower. Damn it, you know what? I'm just gonna make the trailer. So that's what we're doing today. That's why I wasn't gonna make a video about it, but I'm hat well, I'm not even halfway through and here we go, Let let's continue. So I've got the frame done here and I gotta put wheels on it. So the wheels that I'm using are the front wheels from my old mower, which is gone now. But I saved the front wheels because I was looking at them last night and I was like, I could use those for the trailer. <laughs> Alright, so I machined down the original axle, cut it, machined it so that it would fit this because what I needed to do, the axle was originally, it had a big bend right here, so I couldn't deal with that. So it's a little bit sloppier of a fit than I wanted, but it'll be fine. I'll deal with it and I'm just going to weld it in place. Oh my gosh, I had to stop for a quick mock-up, pulled out the mower, that looks so good. <laughs> Alright, so I've got the axles welded to those rods, and the rods welded to some angle, and the angle welded to the frame. So that, for a garden trailer, should be a pretty strong setup. And I just love the proportions of those wheels. Got them spaced out just right here. I think they're a perfect size wheel and tire. And I'm making the tongue pretty long because it's easier to back up a long trailer. And it's kind of hard to back up a trailer with a lawnmower because everything's so short. So I figured I'd make it a little long. Hell yeah. All right, so now I got to weld sides onto it. I got to put some sheet metal down or something so that it has a bottom. So yeah, we're gonna have a bottom, we're gonna have sides, we're gonna have a back that's removable. Probably isn't gonna hinge down. I don't think I need it to hinge down. And then uh, I need to weld the tongue on still and I need to figure out some kind of hitch situation because the hitch on the back of this mower, you know, they just put these they just put these holes back here and then this is pretty weak. So I'm gonna have to strengthen this up and do some kind of hitch back here. 